Thanks for your time tonight. Very good to be with you and good evening. Now, you're an advisor on the European economy. Well, just to be clear, I'm an advisor to one of the European economies. In relation to the in European economy? In relation economy. to the European economy, yep. yes. Of course, the European economy is made up, Brian, of all the various individual European economies. Yes, they're all related to one they another. They are, that's right. I yeah. mean, that's their strength. I'd never thought of it like that, Brian, but in a warped kind of way, you might be right. Isn't that the idea? Certainly, then? that's the idea, yes. Can you tell me what Grexit is? Grexit? Yep. Yes. Brian, Grexit is one of the many terms being used in this discussion, which mean precisely nothing. It is a term used often by people in your profession, Brian, in order to indicate uh, that they are right up to date with terms that have no meaning whatever. Why would people want to use terms that have no meaning? In order to indicate to a lot of other people who don't know what they're talking about that they're capable of trivialising an issue, Brian, to the point where you don't require any actual knowledge to talk about it. But doesn't it mean the exit of Greece from the EU? Well, by what mechanism would that occur, Brian? Well, they might be thrown out, mightn't they? Greece might be thrown out of the EU yeah. by all these other countries to whom yeah. they owe a lot of money. Yeah. But by what mechanism would that be achieved, Brian? Well, I don't know. I'm asking you. Yeah, well, you are now, Brian. Before, you were asking me the meaning of Grexit. Yeah, well, why are you asking me how Greece was going to get well, thrown out of the EU? Well, because I don't know that there is a mechanism whereby okay. that can be achieved, Brian. OK, so no Grexit. No Grexit. OK, Grexit gate. It's not Grexit gate, Brian. What I'm saying to you is that Grexit is a term which describes something that might not exist. Grexistentialism. It's not Grexistentialism, Brian. What are you talking... This is not Well, it's not a bad headline, is it? Grexistentialism, not a bad headline. yeah. What's the story? Well, that's what I'm asking you. I don't know, Brian. You'd have to do some research. Oh, come on. I'm a journalist. I don't have time for research. Can't you tell me? No. I mean, what are you advising your government? Oh, the government I'm advising, Brian, uh, they're all right. They've invested a lot of their money outside Europe. Well done. Where have they invested? Well, a lot of countries, Brian, are privatising their publicly owned infrastructure. and yeah, We uh, do a lot of that here. It's you very do. clever, it isn't is it? It is very clever, yeah. yeah, Brian, and I hope you keep doing it. And what do you do? We buy it, Brian. We buy an enormous amount of it with our ears pinned back. We've got a lot of yours. Yours is very good. Yeah, the reason it's a good deal for us, of course, you buy it and then our prices go down. Of course, of course. Yeah. Exactly so, Brian. That yeah. is ex that's, why, that's how we're going to make our money. By buying By infrastructure. buying your infrastructure and lowering your cost to use it. Well, thanks for your time. You're very bright, Brian. Well done. Pardon? Thanks for your time. No, thank you, Brian. Honestly, don't thank me.